of the Chicago skyline as night falls upon us. Welcome sports fans. Thank you for joining us. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. Brian Anderson here alongside my colleagues Grant Hill and Chris Weber. Allie LaForce, our reporter. Now we get a chance to check some stats for Devin Booker. And by looking at his true shooting percentage over the last five games, you can see how much he's paying attention to his shot selection. And it's showing. And before we tip off here, it's time to hear from our reporter. Hey, Allie. Thanks, Brian. Well, current financial challenges have Commissioner Silver and the league office dusting off proposals for expansion. Silver said at some point, it's manifest destiny that the league will eventually expand. The last time that happened was 1988 with the Bobcats. Guys, Seattle fans hopeful things move along. Boy, Allie, wouldn't that be something? And Grant, no shortage of athleticism on display tonight. Something you'd know a little bit about. Well, you know, B.A., in my younger days, I might have caught a few guys, but maybe we'll see a few highlights tonight, too. All right, now the opening lineup for Phoenix. Bridges and Crowder holding down the forward spots. Paul and Booker, the talented backcourt. And it's Aiden in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And for Chicago, Ball and Levine make up the backcourt. Nikola Vucevic is out there with Tristan Thompson. And it's DeRozan in at the three slot. Here we go. So Phoenix will get the first possession. And here's Paul. Pass to Booker. Inside. Here's Aiton. Yes! And it's Booker with the setup. Good court vision from Booker. He sees a wide open man and gets him the ball for an assist. Now here's Levine. Into the lane. Oh! oh wow! Oh. Oh. Incredible! Got to give Levine some love. Many of the dunks he pulls off are just flat out nasty. Ooh, a great look there. Brought to you by the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Here's a three from Paul. And it's cleared by Vucevic. Booker against Levine. Over Booker. Offensive rebound. Thompson. And so the ball out of bounds. Aiton touched it last. And we're about a minute into the first. Sun's on deep. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. Now, we, we've all seen this guy's development. Thompson has proven to be a valuable role player. He's exceptional in tracking down rebounds. A more than capable defender. one falls that one falls so he hits both of them a little over a minute gone here in the first quarter Outside Booker. Pass to Crowder. Back to Booker. Five on the clock. Nice D from Levine. He doesn't get the finish, but the D's got to be quicker to rotate and stop him from getting to the rim. One thing you got to love about Nikola Vucevic is that on offense, he does it all. For a big, he's got a terrific three-point shot, and of course, he regularly posts big point totals. Just taking it right to the rim, and no one was there to greet him. Yeah, very little resistance. I mean, you got to bring much faster help than that. Now here's Booker. 
So versatile on offense, averaging around 23 and a half points per contest. And the basket by Bridges. Now, there's no denying that Vucevic's offensive output really makes him a great example of a modern big. Yeah, his abilities at long range definitely help stretch the floor. But he can also be an old school menace down low, gobbling up rebounds and owning the paint. Here's Ball. Looking at his production, close to 12 points a game. And Levine gets it to go on the assist by Ball. What an excellent distributor Zoe is. I mean, he has a knack for getting it to his open teammates. Ball against Paul. Pass to Aiden. Shoots over Vucevic. Cans it from short range. Aiden's got his second basket. I've seen Paul make about a million of those passes over his career. It never gets so. Chicago leading. Ball passes to Thompson. Hammers the lob through. Look, it's all about Thompson's vertical. He jumps up fast to make sure he taps in on that alley. Hayden with it, covered by Vucevic. Crowder against Thompson for three. Bridges sinks it from distance. Bridges has got six. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. Here's Levine, a real weapon on offense, averaging around 24 and a half a game. Over to the wing. It doesn't go for him. The Suns go the other way with it. And this game, the first chance they've had to see Chicago. And they dominated this team last season. Big difference in talent level. Now here's Paul. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Aiden finds Booker. And the Suns get another three. <laughs> A legit sniper from downtown. Booker rises up with such ease from beyond the arc. Down low. Here's Vucevic. And it's in there. Attacking in the painted area. Clearly that was their game plan coming in. The Suns leading. Now Booker. Playing Washington. He was nearly unstoppable. Pass to Paul. Yes! And it's Booker with the setup. So crafty inside of me. Paul's been successful for many years at challenging the heart of your defense. Here's Levine. Ball with it. To the inside. Thompson. And Aiden pulls it down. For Phoenix, they've got six of eight shots to go. Paul with it. His offense has been fantastic. Averaging just over 17 a game. For three, Booker on target from range. Booker's got his second basket on the night. When you let a team knock down that many threes, you know you're likely to be on the wrong side of a run. Here's Ball. Six-point game. Pass to Levine. DeRozan with the ball. Now guarded by Booker. Phoenix grabs the miss. I love to see the defense exhibit some passion in protecting the rim right there. To the paint. Here's Crowder. Nice assist and nice finish. Solid play all the way around. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. Paul with a steal. Crowder inside. He's covered by Levine. And it's Crowder missing. The Bulls have gone 5 of 12 in this first quarter. Levine finds ball. Oh, that one's off. Still out of sync. Outside Paul. And he lobs it up to the rim. And Aiton with the stuff. They've shown so much energy right from the start particularly on the offensive end. Yeah, they've been very aggressive, and they've taken early control of this game. Timeout called here. Chicago decides to talk it over. 
And over the course of a long regular season, does a coach need to keep things new and interesting? Or is it better to be consistent and stick to the same message? You know, well, I think consistency, B.A., is helpful as far as roles and your team's philosophy. Off the court is where having fun and keeping uh, loose can, can pay those dividends. The Bulls making a switch here. Drummond's checked in. Ball against ball. Outside Levine. The three ball. Yes, sir. And it's Ball with the assist that time. Ball's got four assists in the game. He's got the hot hand right now. As long as he can keep getting open, they've got to keep feeding him. Now here's Aiden. 15 in his last outing. On the wing, Crowder. Clock at six. Puts it up from 12. Oh, it's stolen by DeRozan. And he lobs it up. And Levine throws it down. Go get it, young man. Go get it. Levine's so fun to watch on these alley-oops. Levine against Booker. Outside Paul. 4-3. And the Suns get another three. <laughs> they are letting those threes fly from outside. Really in a great rhythm. And Chicago has possession. Trailing by eight. Here's Levine. He had 25 points in his last game. Launches it. The rebound by Bridges. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Pass to Aiden. Oh, it's stolen by DeRozan. Here's Levine. And Levine throws it down. Oh, what a wonderful <laughs> dunker. Give Levine any opportunity to flush it home. He won't pass it up. Crowder outside. Outside Booker takes the three. Rebound by the Bulls. They're coming off that loss against Philadelphia. There was just no sense of urgency to hit the offensive glass. They have to be disappointed in the lack of second chance points. And second chance points. This is another great indicator of which team won in the hustle department. And tonight, they didn't win that battle. The Sumu, he's checked in for Chicago. Dragic comes in for ball. Sharic checks in for the Suns. Johnson comes in for Bridges. Dragic against Paul. It's Dragic with a drive. Ooh, Aiton with the block. Sharic finds Aiton. And it's cleared by Vucevic. Vucevic has got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's Levine. And again, Chicago, no good. That's the shot they wanted. It just didn't fall. Oh, you're right. He'd take that 10 out of 10 times. He's not going to miss many of those. Drummond against Sharic. Here's Aiton. Nice D from Vucevic. Chicago trailing here. Pass to Desumu. Here's Levine for three. And that bucket makes him six for ten in the contest. Oh, he's been dominant this quarter. He's determined to prevent the lead from getting any bigger. Phoenix calls timeout. Well, Zach Levine, the UCLA product, I mean, he has continued to improve over time. He's now a bona fide star in this league. White, he's checked in for Chicago. And so here's Phoenix. It's a three-point game. Chris, you think back to the injuries Levine has had to overcome. It's amazing where he is now. Well, he showed mental fortitude. He's still an elite athlete, but the sky's the limit for him. That's how you want to see them crash to glass. They've been out hustled so far. Knocks down the triple. And there's the range on Kobe White's jump shot. I mean, the defense has to be careful with his looks. Pass to Sharich. Oh, he can't stop the run as that misses. 
And Cameron Payne is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul. And here are the Bulls now. And here's Dragic. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Drummond up top. Six on the shot clock. Over to the left wing. Asumu for three. And again, it's Chicago with a three. Oh, he just caught the defense laughing. He shoots a very high percentage from three-point range, and there's no hand in his face. Payne against Dragic to the middle. And there's Saric on the assist by Payne. But you got to respect the interior game with Saric. I mean, he's solid at using his size to his advantage. Dragic against Payne. And he lobs it up top. Bulls keep it alive. Can't get it to fall. The Suns trailing. Kaminsky outside. Outside Johnson. Here's the three. And it's cleared by Vucevic. Vucevic has got six rebounds here tonight. White with it. Picked up by Craig. Pass to Dragic. Shoots over Johnson. And the shot falls short that time. Already plus five in terms of rebound margin. Here's Payne. Goes up and lays it in nice and easy. And the Suns lead by one. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. Here's White. Looking at his numbers. Currently, he's averaging around nine points a game. Now Dragic, defended by Payne. Saric with some nice D. And for the Suns, they're shooting right around 57%. Very efficient so far in the first. Payne, the pass to Saric. And out of bounds. The Bulls will take it. Thompson, he's checked in for Chicago. Caruso comes in for Dragic. Twenty-seven seconds left to play in the first. Here's Desumu, defended by Craig. Pass to Thompson. White on the wing, covered by Johnson, and it comes off the front of the rim. The setup's good. That's the shot they're looking for, but you can't get them all to go. And here's Payne outside. And still a close game as the first quarter comes to a close. Suns ahead, up by one. And the second quarter is on its way when we return. And drafted 13th back in 2015. Devin Booker, for years, the lone bright spot in Phoenix. Now he's got some help. That's what I've been waiting on. Playing competitive basketball, night in and night out. Keep my head down, um, staying locked in and seeing tunnel vision, trying to play the right way through it all. Um, you know, I want to keep winning basketball games. And, you know, we have the culture and the foundation around here to make it happen. Yeah, Grant, that's got to feel pretty special. That's so true. I mean, to stick it out and get this organization back on the winning track, that's how legacies are made. And it's been a pretty even game here after one quarter of play. And let's take a moment to get your take, guys, on the scoring so far for the Suns. The three-pointer has been a major weapon for them at early stages. I mean, they'd be smart to keep moving and working on the perimeter. Another aspect of their game that's been super so far tonight is how they've been sharing the ball and piling up the assist. Kobe White out there with Alex Caruso. Then there's Tristan Thompson. Then it's Andre Drummond. And it's Desumu in at the three. The small forward. That's the Bulls five as we get into the second quarter. 
Chicago has gone four of six from three-point range thus far. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. Thanks, Brian. Well, Zach Levine with his first All-Star selection in 2021. And then the Bulls added a second All-Star, Nikola Vucevic, at the trade deadline. Levine said, we got another big-time player here. Guys, with this combination, they have a chance to be special. Well, they're putting some pieces together, Allie. Thanks for that. Johnson uses the glass on the layup. And now a three-point Phoenix lead. And guys, the way this defense is getting manhandled down low, you have to wonder if they're at 100% right now. Johnson against White. Here's Drummond. Here's Thompson. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Look, I like how aggressive Thompson is inside. He's easily picking up fouls thanks to his massive size. Well, one thing we can take away from the 2021 season, the enjoyment that it brought to people during such a tough time, Chris. Oh, man, you're right, B.A. Everyone was happy. Everybody was happy to have a full season, even if you couldn't watch all the games in person. But I'll tell you what, it was just what we needed. That free throw is good from Thompson. Hits one, then misses the second attempt from the line. Phoenix has gotten five of their nine attempts from deep to go. Payne against Thompson. Outside Payne from the arc. And they'll get another chance to the inside. Second chance shot. And there's the nice layup by Kaminsky. And the Suns lead by four. Now look, guys try to get physical with Kaminsky, but he has the body control and focus to finish through the contact. Second quarter of play with around two minutes gone so far. Pass to DeSumo. Here's Drummond. Second chance effort. Here's DeSumo. There's the three. That one falls. Coming off a Drummond feed. The Sunmu's got eight. And you see the work Drummond has put in the passing the ball. Solid as spotting the open man. Now Sharich. Back to Payne. Caruso grabs the board. And Cameron Payne is going to pick up the foul. That'll be a second foul of the game. Crowder, he's checked in for the Suns. Bridges comes in for Craig. Chicago's gone one of two from downtown here in the second. Pass to White. And the layup is good off the glass. Five points in the game. There's a certain level of fearlessness we see from White. Not phased by that contact on the shot. Outside Payne with the drive. And they pick up two. Wow, eight lead changes in the first half. Unbelievable. Yeah, both sides digging in for what looks like a war. For Chicago, they've gone three for seven here in the second quarter. Here's Desumu. Give him eight points now. Pass to Thompson. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. Give that one to Jay Crowder. And you don't think Thompson is outstanding at using his body? Look at this. A muscular presence who picks up fouls well. And he can't get the first one. Phoenix making some changes. Devin Booker, he's checked in for Johnson. And it's Chris Paul in for Payne. He does not get the second one. 
for Phoenix. They've gone four for six here in the second. Outside Booker. Back to Bridges. Outside Paul. Off target from three-point range. Chicago trailing here. And there's the lob. Oh, Kaminsky with a steal. Here's Bridges. Oh, it's stolen by DeRozan. Over Booker. They get the rebound. Thompson, that's good. Thompson's got seven points in the game. And breaking down some numbers here, the hustle stats for the Bulls. They're setting the tone early with their defense, keeping the pressure on and taking chances. And they've got a bunch of steals to show for it. You know what else, guys? Defensively, they've been able to cause some turnovers tonight and turn them into points. And with his feet set, Crowder can definitely hurt you from long range. Chicago has gone 5 of 8 from outside the three-point line in this one. And while it can hurt you from outside, Devin Booker has a very rounded game with his shot. The yeah, last few years, Booker has taken more mid-range jumpers. He feels comfortable pulling up from anywhere in the half court. I mean, he's learning to take whatever the defense gives him. Oh, they've tailored their offense around him. And let me tell you, he loves playing in this system. Back to Paul. Blocked! A solid shot blocker in his position. Boss Lynn allows him to make a difference in this system. Levine. Yes, sir. And it's Ball with the assist that time. Ball's got five assists tonight. Phoenix has gone six for 12 from deep so far in this game. Booker, the pass to Kaminsky. Reporter Bridges. The shot misses. And Chicago will go the other way with it. And following this game, they hit the road to challenge the Hornets at Spectrum Center in Charlotte. And that'll be their only game on the road before heading back home. Look, Thompson's getting after it. A highly skilled offensive rebounder who crashes with power. Here's Paul. The Bulls making their last shot. Stolen by Ball. And the foul on Chris Paul. That's his first foul of the game. And that puts them just one foul from the bonus. The Bulls making a switch here. Vucevic is checked in. And the Suns also making a change. Aiden, he's checked in for Kaminsky. Pass to Levine. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. It's going to be on DeAndre Ayton. Well, you have to appreciate the value of an acrobatic showman like Levine. I mean, his antics will keep your squad and the crowd pumped up. First one falls for him. And Zach Levine just continues to refine his game. His shot selection has really improved. He's much more choosy on when he shoots. Both free throws good from Levine. You know, while Levine is picking up his spots a bit more, he is still the guy for this team late in games. He really is. I mean, he can create a shot for himself any trip down the floor. He's been the de facto leader for a while for this Bulls club, and nobody else has as much experience on late game shots. Phoenix calls timeout. Things just aren't going their way. He clearly wants to talk it over. But the defensive intensity has to pick up, and I'm sure Coach is going to let them know that. The Suns have gone 5 of 10 in the second quarter. Paul passes to Booker. Pass to Aiden. Bridges with it to stop the run. Buries it from three. Bridges has got nine. Lackluster defense. Showing no desire to chase shooters off that line. For Chicago, they've gotten seven of 13 attempts to go here in the second. Ball with it. Now guarded by Crowder. And Ball gets it to go. And the Bulls lead by five. And the level of concentration. It has to be demoralizing for the D, seeing him sink these hard shots. Booker, the pass to Aiton. Oh, and the jam by Aiton. 
I just love the aggressive finish. Now, I'm thinking he's sending a strong message with that jam. The Bulls have gotten 8 of 14 shots to drop so far in the second. Ball against Paul. Ball passes to Levine. And Levine throws it down. Okay, the incredible handles on display. I see you, Levine. He's so sensational at three and four. So. It's Booker on the wing. Levine with a steal. DeRozan outside. Back to Levine. Two points. That one goes. And it's a seven-point Chicago lead. Showing off the entire arsenal right now. Levine so outstanding. He's scoring in a multitude of ways. Now here's DeRozan. Coming off a 16-point game against Philadelphia. Ball outside. Pass to Vucevic. Here's Levine for three. And again, it's Chicago with a three. He's pulling out all the tricks this quarter. They can't figure out how to stop. Phoenix has gone 7 of 14 from the perimeter in this one. I see you, I see you. Now Booker. Six points for him. And he's going for the lob. And he lays in the alley-oop pass. Nice touch on both ends of that alley-oop. Hey, when he let go of the pass, I had no idea what he was going for. Chicago with the ball. They're on a 17-7 run. DeRozan finds ball. Vucevic's shot is off. Phoenix has gone 2 of 5 from deep here in the second. Paul passes to Booker. The three is up. It's good. The assist that time from Paul. Paul's got six assists here tonight. That right there, that's the kind of look this system is designed to create. Chicago leading. Timeout called here. Chicago decides to talk it over. And as the coaches draw up their strategies, the players staying hydrated with some Gatorade. That's key to keeping them at their best all the way up to the buzzer. It really is. And every one of those players knows it. We're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. Dragic has checked in for Thompson. Pass to DeRozan. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. And the Bulls lead by seven. And they found a nice flow offensively here in the second period. Outside Booker. Now Aiden. Paul passes to Crowder. Just five on the clock. Over DeRozan. The bank shot, no good. Chicago has gone six of nine from three-point range. Dragic against Bridges. Dragic passes to Vucevic. Good work there as it goes. And now a nine-point Bulls lead. And now almost all their points coming from the paint. Aiden, Chicago grabs the miss. Vucevic has got his eighth rebound here tonight. Levine softly drops in the floater. Levine's got 27 points. And what about the touch on the floater? Levine making a difficult shot look easy. Pass to Booker. Down low. Here's Crowder. That one's good. Give the assist to Booker. Booker's got seven assists in the game. And off the jump, they were effective from deep. I don't know why they haven't continued to fire from out there. Now here's DeRozan. He's been an offensive weapon for them, scoring around 17 and a half points a game. The Sumu, he's checked in for Chicago. Dragic outside. 
Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. And Goran Dragic out of Miami. I mean, wow. Had a brief stop in Toronto as part of the Kyle Lowry sign and trade, but ultimately felt like his talents were better used elsewhere. And he found a home with his team and is eager to prove he has something left in the tank. That free throw, no good. And the Bulls making a change here. White's checked in. And the second free throw is good. Yeah, they, they're really cashing in more at the line here in the second quarter. Phoenix has gone three of six from outside in the second quarter. Outside Booker from 20 feet. And it's Phoenix with another. <laughs> it's tough to contain Booker on the catch and shoot because of his smooth, quick release. <laughs> Impressive. Rosen with the ball. There's a minute 26 left in the first half. Driving inside. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. Yeah, a strong move to the rack draws that foul. And defying the analytics trend, DeRozan's favorite shot still remains the mid-range jumper. I mean, they've tried to stretch him out with uneven results. Maybe better to surround him with three-point shooters, create space in the medium range area to maximize his effectiveness. That's good from DeRozan. You know, DeRozan has been lucky. He gained so much valuable experience in his career playing on diverse all-star and Olympic teams. Craig has checked in for DeAndre Ayton. DeRozan hits them both. And of course, the veteran, DeMar DeRozan, getting a new contract this past year. I mean, he joined the Bulls on a three-year deal. And I think he should do a great job as a veteran presence for an upcoming Bulls roster. Now here's Booker. He's got 11. That's good from Craig on the assist from Booker. Booker's got assist number eight here already in the game. Chicago has gone two of three from the three-point line in the second. Up top, Vucevic. For three, Dragic. And it's good. First made shot in four attempts. Spacing the floor with his shooting ability. Dragic showing he has the touch to do damage from deep. Booker with it. Guarded by Vucevic. Outside Booker. Six to shoot. Outside Craig. Booker finds Payne. Yes! And it's Booker with the setup. Booker's got nine assists now tonight. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. Talk about the great competition going on. That's what makes a matchup like this so much fun to watch. Two seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. The kick out to White to the left side wing. And Cameron Payne is going to pick up the foul. That's his third foul so far. Bonus situation in effect, so we'll head to the line for two. And he makes a first. So he hits one of two from the strike. Dragic against Craig. Here's Johnson. Oh, Drummond with the block. Oh, and the coaching staff loves this effort. They want Drummond to keep swatting shots like this. 
Zach Levine. He's been the guy making things happen for Chicago. His fingerprints were all over that quarter. 13 points, leading the charge. We'll be right back after this word. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello, basketball fans. What a pleasure it is to bring you into the 2K studios again. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Zach Levine was the man in the first. He had 27 points and one steal. What do you think, Shaq, about Chicago? What stood out to me more than anything else was how hard they got after it on the offensive glass. They were keeping possessions alive and converting those rebounds into points. Take away those extra points, they're not in this position, Ernie. And, Kenny, what are your thoughts on Phoenix? Shot. Was anyone boxing out? I mean, if they didn't box you out like this, you'd have 50 just on offensive rebounds. I mean, they got to put bodies on bodies or fundamentals. And that's going to do it for us here. The second half of action is coming your way. And we've got third quarter basketball here. Two quarters in the books. Boy, Zach Levine has been sensational. Well, if he's hit threes like he did in the first half, he's going to have a monster night. Yeah, the defense didn't do a very good job of staying connected to him. We'll see if they make an adjustment. Chicago has gone 7 of 11 from outside the arc. Nice percentage from distance so far. Kicking off the second half, here's Monty Williams 5. Crowder and 8 in the bigs. Paul and Booker, the talented backcourt, and it's Bridges in at the three. Booker against Levine. Inside, here's Aiton, and Aiton with the stuff. When you look at the career numbers of Booker, here's a guy who has really increased his assist number. Aiton's gone five of seven from the floor here. A moment to hear from Ali LaForce. Hey, Brian, the Phoenix Suns are enjoying a renaissance. Big man DeAndre Ayton said, quote, from starters to the bench players, this team is well balanced and we compete. We challenge each other every day. To be honest, it's the best team I've ever been on throughout my career. Guys, they are confident. That they are, Allie. Thanks. And Phoenix has possession. The Bulls making their last shot. Booker, good. Booker's got 13. A versatile score. At 6'5", Booker has enough size to make plays in the painted area. And with a little over a minute gone by, the second half is underway. Pass to Levine. Ball against Paul. Ball outside. Now here's DeRozan. Down to five on the shot clock. Stolen by Bridges. Outside Paul. Another three for Phoenix. Rock solid start for him. I mean, they're three for three since coming out of the locker room. Levine with it. And it's Paul picking him up. And the foul on Chris Paul. That'll be a second foul of the game. And now another look at that mobile one block defensive performance. Oh, my, oh, my. And that was textbook defense. Positioning himself well to send it back. Here's Ball. Thompson outside. Pass to DeRozan. Knocks it loose. And a bit of a battle for the ball. And the officials signal a jump ball here. Knocked loose. And here are the Bulls now. Shot clock at six. From deep. Ball no good. The Suns have gone three of three in the second half. Here's Booker. Denied by DeRozan. Pass the ball. Jacks up a three. They get it back. Vucevic can't get it to drop. 
The Suns trailing. Crowder outside. Shoots over ball. And that one hits the back iron. The Bulls have gone 2 of 5 in this third quarter. Here's Levine. Here's Thompson. Ooh, tried to dunk it home, but he drew the foul, and he'll go to the line. Everyone in the building saw the obvious contact. That free throw is good from Thompson. Both good from the line that time. Fantastic ball movement for them tonight. If things are definitely working offensively, a balanced attack is just so much harder to defend. Now here's Booker. 13 points in the game. Pass to Paul. Just five to shoot. Now here's Crowder. Defended by Thompson. And it's Crowder missing. Chicago's gone just one of three from deep since the break. Ball passes to Vucevic. It's good. And the assist that time from Ball. Ball's got six assists here tonight. Ball against Paul. Bridges outside. Over to Rosen. Phoenix no good that time either. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. Three-pointer. Connects from downtown. DeRozan's got nine. And he just moves so well without the ball. DeRozan stays locked and loaded for catch-and-shoot opportunities. Ball against ball. And that one's good. Paul. That will help them. Now is the time to get aggressive. They need to keep feeding him the ball and let him go to work. Chicago's gotten two of four threes to fall here in this third quarter. Aiden against Vucevic. Outside Levine. Back to Vucevic. Here's Thompson. Drops in the layup for two. Thompson's got four points in the quarter. Thompson is a strong big man. He's amazing at fending off defenders. Ball against ball. Paul passes to Aiden. And give him another one. He's 6 of 8 and looking solid. He's trying to will this team back into it. Doing all he can offensively. Here's Ball. Pass to Vucevic. Back to Ball. Throws it up high. Love how fast Thompson rolls after the screen. Solid at getting room to shoot in these sets. Paul passes to Booker. No good on the triple. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. Ball outside. No good there. Good work defensively by Crowder. A really tough night for him offensively. I mean, I wonder what the score would be if he wasn't so cold from the field. Paul passes to Bridges. Yes! And it's Paul with the assist that time. He's got 14. And he's coming off a huge performance, and his confidence couldn't be any higher. And his coach knows that, too. Well, and that's why they're running plays for him. They're getting him the ball and letting him go to work. Some people don't give Chris Paul enough credit for his outstanding shooting, but he can knock it down. You can't give him any room. Timeout called here. Chicago decides to talk it over. Well, Grant, Chris Paul just gets more and more reliable as a shooter, even after all these years in the league. Yeah, I mean, he's always been smart with his shots, but he has great efficiency for a guard, and he could easily put up bigger scoring numbers, but that's not his focus. Some changes for Chicago. 
Drummond's checked in for Thompson. And it's Caruso in for DeMar DeRozan. Kaminsky, he's checked in for the Suns. Johnson comes in for Booker. Now here's Levine. 30 points in the game. Shoots over Kaminsky. Off the left rim and out. Credit to D for not giving up on that play. He's a tough cover down low. Here's Bridges. And it's Bridges with the jam. The big time throwdown. Check him out. Keeps the grip on that rim after the finish. A little extra emphasis. The Bulls have gone 6 of 13 to open up this second half. Bridges against Ball. Shot from 12. They get it again. His field goal percentage has dipped this quarter. I mean, his movement has to be better. He has to find the open spots on the floor. And here's Paul. Ten points for him. Pass to Aiden. Kaminsky outside. Clock at six. From deep, Johnson. Another three for Phoenix. They're making smart adjustments, setting guys up for success. Well, I mean, anyone can tell. They've ramped up the intensity. I mean, they're more assertive, and especially at the offensive end. Here's Caruso. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. And it's ball off the drive. It's been a really tough quarter for him. I mean, he cannot get his shots to drop. And the basket by Bridges. And that bucket from beyond the arc puts them within reach. He's really been putting that shot to work. That's the timeout, big timeout. reason this game is still so close. I mean, he's been lights out from long range. Timeout called here. Chicago decides to talk it over. Things just aren't going their way. He clearly wants to talk it over. Well, the defensive intensity has to pick up, and I'm sure Coach is going to let them know that. Some changes for Chicago. Desunmu comes in for ball. And Dragic has subbed in for Levine. Knocked away. Dragic outside. Pass to Caruso. Desunmu for three. Here's Drummond. And there's the bucket. Staying with it that time. Offensive glass getting it done. They've been dominating the boards tonight. Yet it's still a close game. Kaminsky outside. Back to Paul. Kaminsky finds Paul. Drummond grabs the miss. Drummond's got rebound number eight now. Pass to Vucevic. Launches a three. Good. And that makes him six for nine. A quality game for him so far. The sure stroke of Vucevic when he added that three-point shot in his sixth season. He has loads of trust in his jumper. Kaminsky outside. Bridges with it. To the paint. Here's Ayton. Lays it up and banks it in. Ayton's got 14 points. The defense couldn't collapse quickly enough. Here's Caruso. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Vucevic. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Ayton's got eight rebounds in the game. Back to Johnson. Fires the three. Drops in the three. And now just a three-point Bulls lead. This defense just can't stay connected to shooters. Here's Desumu. Give him eight points now. Now here's Drummond. Here's Vucevic. Good! Now seven for 11 on the night. His energy level has never dropped in this game. I mean, he's working his tail off. And the D is struggling to keep up. And they're on the run. The Suns clear it. Right side, Johnson. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. The defense there doing whatever they can to protect the rim. All right, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for Chicago? Their inside game has been great tonight. So much of their scoring has come from the paint. Hey, give them credit also for the number of layups they've had tonight after strong drives to the bucket.
First free throw is good. White, he's checked in for Caruso. And the Suns making a change here. It's both from the stripe. Making shots at the line. You need a good routine, and he certainly has one. Here's to Sumu. Give him eight. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Shooting two. The first free throw is good. And so he makes both from the line. And really strong at the line since the break. The Suns trailing. Now Payne. He's got nine. Hayden with it. Pass to Johnson. Hey, from beyond the arc. Aiden, no good. Stolen by Aiden. Now Sharic. Back to Aiden. From the left block, he sends it through. Aiden's got eight here in this quarter. I mean, he's just a multi-talented player. I mean, for a big man, Sarek really dishes it away. Here's the sumo. Oh, there's the alley! And the jam by Drummond. Wow, Drummond leaving the floor so quickly. The chemistry he has with his teammates on these alley-oops is very impressive. Outside Johnson. Craig on the wing. Leans. Outside Johnson. Good on the shot. Johnson's got 12 points. Can't blame the deficit on him. He's been scoring at will this period. We've got 113 left in the third quarter. Dragic against Payne. Pass to Desumu. The shot won't fall. Oh, great D that time from Craig. Johnson against White. Now here's Payne. The D's right on him. Sharich, the pass to Payne. And he makes it on the layup. Now just a one-point Chicago lead. That's three buckets in a row off assist. Chicago has gotten three of six threes to fall in the third quarter. Down low. Stolen by Ayton. Six seconds separating the shot and game clocks. The shot by Payne, no good. The Bulls shooting just about 43% in the third. To the right side. Here's Desunmu. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. That one on Craig. And even from where we're sitting, you could clearly tell it was a foul. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. Both teams deciding to change it up. He's perfect from the line this time. Hey, yo, 
Booker against White. Come get it, come get it. And here's Booker. This for the tie. No good. It seems like every miss ends up in his hands. He's been unreal. It's more than just being in the right place at the right time. I mean, he's been active and aggressive. And as we finish the third quarter, it's still close. Both teams trading buckets. It's the Bulls. They lead by three. We'll get right back to the action when we return. Head coach Billy Donovan is mic'd up along the sidelines. Let's check it out. Hold your ground. Don't let him back your way in. Just hold your ground. The other thing, too, is once he picks the ball up, he's not going to shoot it. If he does, just stay down on him. Yeah, Coach Donovan conveying the scouting report to his guys. Knowing your opponent's plays is important. On the money right there. Three tense quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we get ready for the fourth. Tristan Thompson is out there with DeMar DeRozan. Then it's Kobe White. And then it's Goran Dragic. And it's Drummond in at the center position. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. Here's Dragic coming off a of Suns make. And he's going for the oop here. And the jam by Drummond. The great read between those two guys. The defense didn't stand a chance, B.A. These two teammates right here, Grant, they are connected. Now here's Booker. Pass to Payne. Here's Johnson. Defended by DeRozan. Here's Sharich. Oh, Drummond with the block. Payne against Dragic. And the Bulls tack on two more. The defense just handed White that assist. I mean, he smartly feeds a wide open shooter. Payne, the pass to Sharich. Crowder outside. To the inside. Stolen by Drummond. Pass to White. Let's go with a three. The offensive rebound. Part of why they have this lead, they're doing the little things out there. When you're casual with the ball, it can come back to bite you. Yeah, B.A., playing loose can help you and hurt you. They really need to tighten it up. Now here's Payne. Oh, Drummond with the block. And it's out of bounds. Still Phoenix's ball. Levine, he's checked in for Chicago. Ball comes in for Dragic. And the Suns also making a change. Ball, he's checked in for Payne. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Drummond. That's just a needless giveaway. you got to make the defense work for their turnovers. We're just over a minute and a half now into the fourth. Shot clock at five. Booker finds Sharich. The Suns need to get off a shot. A lot of damage from three-point range in the first half, but so far in the second, he hasn't done a thing. Thompson right side. And it's good. Credit Levine with the assist. And it's a nine-point Chicago lead. Ball against ball. Ball passes to Sharich. Gets a very good look and converts. Oh, you can't let Sarri get comfortable shooting from mid-range. I mean, once this happens, it's a wrap. For Chicago, they've gotten four or five attempts to fall so far in the fourth. Johnson against Levine. Pass to Drummond. Good. That's his fifth bucket in nine attempts. The D hasn't been quick enough to react to the ball inside. That's helped cause this run. Booker goes in. And Booker with the jam. A creative finisher. Love seeing Booker attack the rim and convert like this. The Bulls have gotten five of six shots to go in the fourth. Pass to Levine. We're about three minutes into the fourth now. And the dunk by Levine. And one move ahead of the defense. A solid pick. 
And then the monster dunk to complete the play. Well done. Well, come on, guys. Someone has to rotate over. Defensively, that's just poor communication. The shot by Johnson, no good. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. And Ball gets it to go. Their offense has been unstoppable, just firing on all cylinders. Oh, and they're showing no signs of letting up. I love this approach right now. They value each possession. Paul, shot is off. And the call will be against Dario Saric. That'll be a second foul of the game. Bridges, he's checked in for Johnson. We played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. Levine against Booker. 13 feet out. The rebound by Bridges. Bridges has got four rebounds in the game. Pass to Paul. Back to Bridges. Shoots over Ball. And rebounded by Zach Levine. For Chicago, they've gotten seven of nine from the floor in this fourth. 17-foot shot on the way. And misses it off the right side of the rim. He's done a lot of the little things to help put them in front. I mean, but his offense has not been there for the night. They're going at it on offense. Neither team backing down. Yeah, it seems like whenever one team scores, the other comes right back with a bucket of its own. Booker against Levine. Fires the three. The Bulls with another miss. Phoenix has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Out to Bridges. Pass to Paul. This one for three. It falls. 5 for 11 in the game. And they're going to have to pay closer attention to him beyond the arc. I mean, he's got two threes in this half. A total of three overall. Levine with it. Let's it go from deep. Yes, sir. And it's Paul with the assist that time. Ball's got nine assists in the game. Great passing. Ball against Ball. Ball passes to Bridges. Crowder outside. The three. Not going to go that time. And it's Chicago the other way. He's done almost no damage from three-point range in this game. No threes in this half and only one in the first. Ball against Sharich. Six on the shot clock. Ball against Paul. Drummond. And it's good. Fought through contact. Hit the shot. And will go to the line. The Suns making a switch here. Kaminsky's checked in. Grant at this point in his career, I think it's safe to say Andre Drummond will go down as one of the game's premier rebounders. Yeah, you just don't call him a specialist because there's a lot more to Drummond's game than just rebounding. Rim protection, points in the paint, he does just about everything you want in a big man. When he's on the floor, he lightens the load on every other member of their front court. Chicago has gone 2 of 4 from the perimeter here in the fourth quarter. Pass the ball. And here's Drummond. Back to ball. And here's Drummond. He's guarded by Paul. Pulls up. Oh, they get a hand on it. And after a first half where he didn't turn it over once, that has sure changed here in the second. And he gets it to go. Booker's gotten four this quarter. <laughs> We've seen Booker put up crazy numbers. He's got a nose for scoring points. Ball passes to Levine. And here's Drummond. Thompson with it. Covered by Crowder. Another shot. And it's finished off by Thompson as he lays it in. Thompson's got 10 points in just the second half. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. He buries it from three. And this is what they depend on Booker to do. Such a versatile, confident score. Well, Chicago shooting around 51%. That's a good number. Pass to Levine. Ah! 
And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Give that one to Jay Crowder. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he drops the first. Nikola Vucevic is checked in for Chicago. And the Suns also making a change. Aiden's checked in. Both free throws good from Levine. The Suns have gone 7 for 15 in the fourth. Paul passes to Booker. Vucevic against Paul for three. Bridges. And it's cleared by Vucevic. Vucevic has got rebound number 13 tonight with that one. Here's Levine for three. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. After this game, they can look forward to Philadelphia where they'll match up against the 76ers. And that game will mark the end of a four-game trip. Now here's Booker. Pass to Bridges. Let's the three fly. Booker can't get it to go. The more threes he misses, I mean, the more he wants to take. Where they do that at? <laughs> That's not the right mindset. And we're seeing a bunch of top high school prospects go pro now, Chris. Do you think that'll hurt the college game? Well, if it's just the five-star athletes, no. Uh, because they're one and done probably anyway. Uh, but I, if I'm a uh, college, I, I would hope that the pro leagues... Uh, don't expand and need more because if it did it could cause a major shift Johnson he's checked in for the Suns here's Levine the shot that time not on target the Suns shooting 41% here in the fourth Paul passes to Johnson it's Bridges on the wing three pointer off the mark Chicago has got two of five threes to go here in the fourth. That's a foul called on Cameron Johnson. That's his first foul of the game. We're in the bonus now, and they'll go to the line. For a player who came into the league with as much fanfare as Lonzo Ball, it wasn't the smoothest start, Grant. He dealt with a lot of injuries and adversity. NBA, that makes the NBA learning curve that much steeper. Lonzo deserves a lot of credit for how he was able to stay grounded and stay focused. He tuned out the noise and kept developing his game. Now here's Paul. And the Suns miss again. He is just so deadly from out there. You expect that to fall. DeRozan into the lane. And the dunk by DeRozan. And when he's got momentum on his way to the basket, DeRozan is going to finish hard. No reason to take any chances there. Just magnificent. I mean, he punishes the D for a lackluster effort. They look a little disorganized there. The result is an emphatic jam. Oh, well, well, listen, guys, that was great work, making them pay for the laps on defense. And here are the Bulls now, coming off a of Suns make. Vucevic, the pass to Levine. Pass to ball, five to shoot. Levine against Johnson. And Levine gets it to go on the assist by Vucevic. Vucevic has got his fourth assist with that last one. Here's Booker. Basket's good. Booker's got 13 points here in the second half alone. <laughs> There's nothing you can do if you're the defense. Booker is so solid at muscling shots in through contact. And for Chicago, they're shooting 60% here in the fourth quarter. Terrific efficiency. Paul for three. Nails it from three. With the defense trying to protect the interior, he pulls at the arc and drains it. Levine against Booker. Right side, Levine. They double-team Levine. Kicks it to DeRozan. From behind the arc. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. ayton has got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Ball passes to Johnson. Oh, and Johnson slams it in. 
Oh, good anticipation on the feed. Uh, he knows exactly where to go with that ball. Timeout called here. Chicago decides to talk it over. They lead by 11. And there's a minute 45 left to play in the fourth quarter. And now let's present our New Balance player of the game, Chris Paul. And what's impressed me is how he's distributed the rock. I mean, he clearly wants to make his guys better. This kind of selfless attitude really improves overall team chemistry. Booker against Levine. Three-pointer. The Suns clear it. Johnson's got his fourth rebound in this one. The drive by Paul. And the deficit down inside single digits. Always a threat to turn on the Jets. Paul, quick switch of gears. Gets to the rack. Chicago leading. Now here's Ball. Pass to Levine. One sixteen left in the fourth. Ball finds Vucevic. Goes back up. They get it back. Here's Thompson. And they finally get it to go. A full night's work on the boards and one trip down the floor. Well, now it's just a matter of watching the sand fall through the hourglass. This game is wrapped up in a strong showing for the Bulls. And they cut it out this win. Didn't look like their night at certain moments, but they overcame every obstacle, Grant. Yeah, B.A., just an incredible comeback. Toughness in the face of adversity. You love to see that level of commitment to winning. And you look at their record after tonight, 30 wins on the year. And they meet just twice. So taking the first meeting means a lot to this team. And when you look at the game, the one thing that helped fuel this team to victory was the efficiency for Zach Levine. So impressed with his performance today. He was confident, he was composed, and the defense just didn't know how to adjust. Here's Levine. Ooh, Aiton with the block. I hate to say it. But I'm pretty sure we can close the book on this one. But yeah, the game got away from them, but hopefully they've learned some things. And hopefully they'll be able to make some adjustments next time. And here are the Bulls now. Chicago with the ball. Inside. And the slam dunk by Thompson. They got a big lift from their crowd tonight, giving them the energy they needed. Uh, that's why they're in the driver's seat right now, looking to put this one away. So it's the Bulls winning this one easily. A clean win, and one where they clearly showed better energy. Yeah, so true. They put on a show here at home, and I really think they had that extra swagger and confidence, too. And that about wraps it up. Along with Grant Hill, Chris Weber, and Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching tonight's presentation. So long, everybody.